The Cybrarian presents The One Black Stain A poem of Solomon Kane by Robert E. Howard Images courtesy of Unsplash.com Audio samples courtesy of YouTube Audio Library They carried him out on the barren sand where the rebel captains died where the grim grey rotting gibbets stand as Magellan reared them on the strand and the gulls that haunt the lonesome land wail to the lonely tide. Drake faced them all like a lion at bay with his lion head upflung. Dare ye my word of law defy to say this traitor shall not die and his captains dared not meet his eye but each man held his tongue. Solomon Cain stood forth alone, grim man of sombre faith. Worthy of death he may well be, but the trail ye held was mockery. Ye hid your spite in a travesty, where justice hid her face. More of the man had ye been on deck, your sword to cleanly draw, in forthright fury from its sheath, and openly cleaving to the teeth, rather than slate and hide beneath. A hollow word of the law. Hell rose in the eyes of Francis Drake. Pure a knave, swore he. Headsman, give him the axe instead. He shall strike off yon traitor's head. Solomon folded his arms and said, dark and somberly, I am no slave for your butcher's work. Bind him with triple strands. Drake roared and the men obeyed, hesitantly as if afraid, but Cain moved not as they took his blade and pinioned his iron hands. They bent the doom man over to his knees, the man who was to die. They saw his lips and a strange smile bend. One last long look they saw him send, a Drake, his judge, his one-time friend, who dared not meet his eye. The axe flashed silver in the sun. A red arc slashed the sand. A voice cried out as the head fell clear, and the watchers flinched in sudden fear, though twas but a seabird wheeling near, above the lonely strand. This be every traitor's end, Drake cried, and yet again. Slowly the captains turned and went, and the admiral's stare was elsewhere bent, than where the cold scorn with anger blent in the eyes of Solomon Cain. Night fell on the crawling waves. The admiral's door was closed. Solomon lay in the stenching hold. His irons clashed as the ship rolled, and his guard, grown weary and overbold, lay down his pipe and dozed. He woke with a hand at his corded throat that gripped him like a vice. Trembling, he yielded up the key, and the somber Puritan stood free, his cold eyes gleaming murderously with the wrath that is slow to rise. Unseen to the admiral's door went Solomon came from the guard. Through the night and silence of the ship, the guard's keen dagger in his grip, no man of the dull crew saw him slip through the door unbarred. Drake at the table sat alone, his face sunk in his hands. He looked up as from sleeping, but his eyes were blank with weeping, as if he saw not creeping death's swiftly flowing sands. He reached no hand for gun or blade to halt the hand of Cain, nor even seemed to hear or see, lost in black mists of memory, love turned to hate and treachery and bitter cankering pain. A moment Solomon Cain stood there, the dagger poised before, as a condor stoops above a bird, and Francis Drake spoke not nor stirred, and Cain went forth without a word and closed the cabin door. Thank you for listening. This has been a Siberian production of The One Black Stain A poem of Solomon King By Robert E. Howard
For updates, follow Vane Studios on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Images courtesy of Unsplash.com Audio samples courtesy of YouTube Audio Library Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell of the Siberian YouTube channel. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee to support our work. All links in the description.